probably our third flight in Afghanistan and uh, we were uh, sent up to the northern part of Afghanistan where there was uh, some attacks being made on the northern convoy route. The Air Force sent some A-10s to cover some of our Army guys that were down on the ground uh, that were under fire and then all of a sudden uh, we hear an A-10, uh, A-10 pilot on the radio call up and ask for uh, some gas and we were there able to give it to him. And he was able to come up for about five minutes to get the gas he needed and then he went back down and was able to, uh, well then when he went back down his uh, wingman came up, got some gas and they were able to provide cover for Army troops and make sure that they were safe. We were flying we were about six hours into our mission and uh, we got a call for direct support for two F-15 fighters. Uh, the weather was pretty bad, so there weren't any other fighters in the area, and none were able to take off to support them. There was a uh, convoy on the ground. Uh, they were receiving a lot of direct fire from uh, a couple buildings that had the uh, bad guys had to jump on them, so they were calling it in. We proceeded to the area. We had to take gas from another KC-10 to uh, be able to support them for the couple hours that they were going to be covering the uh, ground troops. We made sure they had all their gas, they uh, took uh, care of the guys on the ground. On our way home, we proceeded to hit another KC-10, which uh, gave us the fuel that we needed to make it home. Uh, there was one instance that I remember a couple years ago, we were just uh, flying over Afghanistan, and uh, next thing we know we hear over the radio, hey, you guys need to hurry up, uh, we got guys that need help. And uh, so the fighter guys, you know, they're kind of in a rush, so they come get their gas, and uh, I, they leave, and then I go up front, and I remember sitting in my seat in the cockpit, and I look down to, uh, to the ground, and I see uh, explosions going, going off, and I'm like, hmm, what, what's going on? And, uh, and my pilot says, those were the, the bombs from the guys that we just refueled. Uh, we had single days that we offloaded over a million pounds of fuel with only 15 sorties. Some pretty amazing numbers and what that does, that provides an opportunity for combat aircraft to stay in the air to support the warfighter on the ground. And oftentimes in the dining hall you have guys coming in and they'd thank us for the things we were doing um, for keeping those aircraft in the air.